Hi everyone, welcome to FA Channel. If you're new here, my name is Paris. FA Channel is all about celebrating art, technology, and creativity. Every week, we're uploading three to five new videos, sharing news in the VR world, my personal fun virtual experience, um, playful experiments, and some learning process. Today's episode is based on the previous video we uploaded about using multi brush. And some people ask us how to upload the multi brush world in VR chat. Once the two brush start to be open source, a lot of developers start to modify the two brush. Cool software appeared like multi brush. As you know, Poly is no longer supported. You cannot upload any world from toothbrush to poly anymore. I think um, around April, and then they will shut down forever by June. So we figured out how to upload the world without using poly. So yeah, let's get started. So step one is to create your world, of course, yeah. Yeah. export a world. Uh, so that's simple, like you just need to connect with your um, Oculus. You connect with Oculus to the desktop, and then there is like a toothbrush folder. You will see the file is inside a folder already, and it's like the Quest version will be the GLB file, and then desktop will be FBX file. The both both file works, but we are particularly talking about the GLB, GLB file at this in this video. The step two is to download the toothbrush toolkit, and it has to be the latest version. So at this point, the GLB format doesn't support some materials. For example, you will see it doesn't like support some of the material like spec glossy material so if you use those brushes uh, you may have to modify the materials in unity and unity usually doesn't read the jlb file by default but then apparently if you upload you install this toolkit it will be reading read as like a 3d object and the next step is to import this jlb file that you exported from the to brush world or multi brush world to Unity. Rest of the step is almost exactly the same as Poly, but I will give you a brief explanation uh, in this video to make sure everything is go smooth. So once you import this GLB file, it shows us the assets, right? You need to drop the assets to the scene and then unpack the prefab to modify the 3D model. In terms of in terms of creating the world, make sure when you create the two brush or multi brush world, don't use exactly the same color for every object because now you want to work when you want to work on the, each parts in Unity, you need to separate them by the brush color. For example, we try to make function but i will talk more specific detail later but the the point is we want to make these two snowman snows um, be able to pick up by visitor when they enter the vr chat so these two objects looks like they're all orange but it's actually this different type slightly different type of orange orange color so if it's different color when you separate by the brush color it will be easier to add it in unity if you don't make the separate color, it will be way more complicated. So now it's time to set up all the lighting. So it depends on the world you want to create, the vibe you want to give to your visitor or um, audience. So you, you, need, you need to adjust the lighting carefully with changing like changing angles and then the change of intensity and try to cast light evenly around until it's the ideal lighting situation for us it's like a snowy world so we want to make a more like a glowy kind of effect so that works when you you have to see how it, you have to see and try which kind of lighting situation is the ideal situation and then you can like always check the preview and see if that's the world you wanted to create 
And then after finished setup lighting and check the review, it's time to add the colliders. Collider is pretty important when you make a world. If you don't add collider, basically people will just cannot stay, stay on any kind of surface. They will just fall down. So in terms of the collider, um, we, in this specific case, we used box collider. We try to use all the simple shapes um, because it will be like less resource for this world. And depends on how you want your visitor to walk around or sitting situation, you can add glider on chairs or any other kind of surface to add these functions. And if the world you create is very simple, you can also use mesh glider instead of box glider. Now, when this is all done, you can think about what kind of function you want to add. The function I'm talking about here is the picking up this uh, snowman nose. So when you want to pick up an object from this world, when the toothbrush world is created, the center is always the center of the world. So when you make something you can pick up, you you are basically pick up the world center. So what you need to do is to create empty object and then make this object as parent. So when you do that, you basically make this object as the center, and then you add this component, v VRC pickup, then you will be able to let people to pick up the item. Just make sure uh, and check the gravity, and then check kinematic. Then once the world start, the nose won't be fly away or go other directions. It will be easy to pick up. It's pretty fun to do. So it depends on what you want your audience or visitors to interact with the world you create. You can add different functions like this. It's pretty interesting. And then after all this is done, um, you like the functions, you add a collider, you create this good atmosphere, the vibe, then you can add music and then check the po post processing if you want. Then now you can upload the world on VRChat. So when you upload, sometimes they'll give you some warning message. Most of the time it's fine. It will be out of fix. Now everything is good. You can upload the world and then whatever you created on multi-brush and tool brush will be on VRChat and ready to for everyone to visit. Please go try it out. If you have any questions, please join our Discord server or comment on our YouTube video. We'll answer as soon as possible. And that's it for today's video. Please subscribe our channel for new updates every week. Hope this is helpful. We're looking forward to creating more content that is fun and useful at the same time. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.